Talking about my generation Just because we get around Things they do look awful cold I hope I die before I get old Talking about my generation What do you just love that? I'm saying no. Oh, David, it's only a joke, my love. Yeah, well, you found Jason pinning me up against the fence. That was funny and all, wasn't it? Hey! Good job I stopped him. You got off lightly. Now, come on, you two. There's no need to go through all this again. Let's just forget it, eh? David, now, come and have some breakfast. No, I'll get some at Roy's. Go on, then. F -f Fade away. Oh. Look sharp, Beth. Oh, Chase, do you fancy picking me up from the salon at dinner? Yeah, OK. Only make it look like come for another go at Dave's when you Hey! Go. Don't make things any worse than they already are, you two. Not that I blame you for having a go at David. I want it to myself. Yeah, maybe I should have done. If you can cut a straight friend this morning, I'll be well impressed. Well, I better I'd be able to. I've got you and Michelle in later. Hey, Carla won't be pleased with you nursing in Angola. Like I care what Carla thinks. Mm. All right, don't rub it in. Bye. See ya. <laughs> you do know all day it's going to be Liam this, Liam that. Why well, you don't talk about me all day? Oh, as if. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> How well did you sneak off? I didn't want to disturb you, so coffee? Is that the best offer? Yeah, well, I'm already late for work. Yeah, but you're the boss. Who has to set a good example? You had a great last night, have you? No, of course not. I... But it's all just a little bit strange, that's all. I'm not quite sure how to take that. How was your night with Tony? A bit strange. <clears throat> Listen, uh, the last time I am... Um... Let's just say it's been a long time, eh? I know. Sorry. I was just trying to make light of it. Yeah, well, don't worry. You were wonderful. It's just me. Wonderful. That I can take. That's some coffee. Thank you. You try patience of a saint, that one. In fact, it probably is doing right now. Must have been a right shock him dying on you like that. You were typical. Contrary old beggar that he was. You're not upset then? Good. He won a meal ticket. End off. Oh well. <laughs> Job centre here I come. Hello. Who wants her? Solicitors? What about? There you go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You're so lucky having your own place. Get to do whatever you want and play music as loud as you like. Anna gets to stay up late at night and all, but only on weekends. <laughs> Last night, right, I wanted to watch a film, but could I? She wanted to read Shakespeare, and she kept asking me what everything meant. I could care. What film? Oh, Snakes on a Plane. Oh, yeah. What's that about? Well, it's about these snakes. <laughs> you so know. Tyler's a bit of a clue, innit? Morning. Morning. Sorry, I'm late. How are you? Oh. Game first thing. Are they from Tony? That is, I'll be out of town to... Oh, it's so romantic, isn't it? Have you ever sent anyone flowers but me? Mother's Day. We all had a good night, then. Well, if your idea of a good time is by embarrassing everybody else... Would you like me to go and put these in water? Yeah. OK. You know... You bang on about me jeopardising the business by going out with him. But has it ever occurred to you that he might not be too thrilled about working with a complete prat? He could always walk away. You've changed your chin. Yeah, I have. So, were you just having an early morning cup at Liam? Sarah? Well, you were wearing the same clothes from last night. Oh, hi. <laughs> What's this? You're leading my brother astray, are you? I think it's a bit late for that. <laughs> Well, you never know. You might be the one that finally gets him to settle down. We've only been going out five minutes. Oh, I don't know. I think it's like ours is me. You know, in the first five seconds, if it's the right one. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like you and Steve. Well, he grew on me slowly. <laughs> Very slowly. <laughs> Does uh, anyone want any drinks? Oh, please, David. I'll have a tea. No sugar, thanks. No, I'm fine, sir. 
I'll have a coffee, please. Uh, yes, please, lovey. Sarah, do you want out? You're not to talk to me. So, Maria, um, I've been seeing in long then. Uh, no, not long. <laughs> See I can't even give it a chance, Gran. I mean, I might as well not try. Oh, no, stop all that. That's not how it works. <laughs> Just gotta give it time. Actually, I bumped into your mum earlier and she was asking how you were. Really? Yes. I mean, she's concerned about you. Well, did she say that? Of course she is. I mean, you don't think she wanted to kick you out, do you? She just had to do something to make you realise what you'd done. I keep saying I'm sorry. Yeah, I know, I know. And eventually, people will believe you. Come on. Anyway, get on with them drinks. Go on. Guess what I'm doing here? You've had a call up for the England squad? You do a better job as a striker than some of them lads, I tell you that. Yeah, close. But not close enough to win today's star prize, which goes to... Carl Bonner. Oh, this has got to be a wind-up. Where do you want me to put him? Don't tempt me. Give him it. Have you not rung him yet to say thank you for the first two bunches? Only I'm thinking that he's thinking that maybe you haven't got him. Like I'm going to ring him with you, Ian. I'll tell you what. I will leave because my hay fever's starting to play up anyway, so... You don't get hay fever. Especially not in October. It's not exactly playing it cool, is it? Three bunches of roses. Yeah, not exactly Mr Imagination. Roses, followed by roses, and some more roses. <laughs> Liam, you're not as funny as you think you are. Why don't you trust me on that? OK, Rosie. See what I did there. <laughs> Rosie will go and make a brew and leave Madam here to make a phone call. Otherwise, this place is going to end up looking like a funeral parlour. Oh. I, I just brought these round. They're for you. Thank you. Can I come in? Oh. Um, yeah. What's he doing here? He bought these for me. Thank you. Mum, he's just trying to grease round you. Well, I keep trying to apologise, just that nobody listens. You know, I thought by getting these it might prove that I am sorry. Well, throw them in the bin. They're probably nicked anyway. Come on, Jason, we're going. I'm not staying here with him. By him. I'm sure. It's a very nice thought. What? So six o'clock's the best you can do? No, well, I don't want to take it for the tea, do I? All right, thanks anyway. Oh, I won't be a minute, love. Oh, it's OK. Kirk, what's so urgent? You sounded dead worried on the phone. It's your mum. Uh, I think... Well, I think... I don't know what to think. Oh, good. That's worth missing me dinner over. <laughs> Her and Frank, they didn't get on right. Who does my mum get on with? There's some solicitors looking for her. Solicitors? About dead Frank. He was old, loaded, and like she said this morning, a meal ticket, end of. So? Well, what if Frank didn't give her the necklace? Nick and his stuff don't look good, does it? Afternoon. No, oh, I am. What are you doing here? You've not raised me, have we? I'd have remembered. I was on a break, that's all. I thought I'd take a chance on you being in here. Oh, isn't that nice? Do you want a drink? Oh, I'll have a tonic water, please. Do you want anything stronger? I'm working. And pregnant women don't take too kindly to having alcohol fumes breathed all over. Mm. Mm, well, it's an occupational hazard for me. No, you're not the only one. They come in for their scans reeking of fags and booze. You're not serious? Oh, yeah. I asked one woman if she wasn't worried about harming her baby. She said, me mum smoked and boozed all the time. She were carrying me. Well, stupidity is hereditary, I guess. Violet Wilson, don't look at me, otherwise we'll fall out big time. Do you not pull them up about it? Not my place. Well, feel free to tell Violet if she's breaking any rules. I am being as good as gold. You know, some dads show a bit of solidarity. Healthy eating, give up smoking. Already done that. 
half a day. He lasted three, four hours, if that. It's easy to forget sometimes that he's just a little boy. Well, he's grown up fast. Actually, I think he's probably beginning to see sense at last. Well, maybe he really does understand that he's done wrong and wants us to see how sorry he is. Especially you. You should have seen his eyes light up when I said you'd been asking after him. Mm. Maybe I should have a word with him. Right, thanks very much. See you later. Right, that's it. Goodie bags for all of them. Eye patches, chocolate treasure, the works. Hiya. 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 Kebab. I just a coffee, Tom. Hey, do you know how hard it is trying to book a decent table in a rest stop these days? I even tried the old, you'd do it for the Prime Minister line. What's that? Well, you know, they say, yes, of course we would, and you say, well, he's not coming, so I'll have it. No sense of humour. Well, maybe if you said something funny. Mm. You should have come to me, kid. I could normally wangle the table. Although, usually for one, of course. Don't you feel as though you've got to be sorry for me? There you go. Thanks. See ya. Well, are you going to take the hint or what? What hint? He's looking for somebody to take out. Yeah, so? Oh, you're not half slow, you, Jody. Hey, he fancies you something rotten. Oh, Lloyd. Does he hack? He, he, he only comes in here when you're on. Uh, I'm always on? Yeah, well, he even comes in here for his coffee, and nobody comes in here for the coffee. They always got the noise. Well, maybe he just likes our coffee. Oh, you know what? Oh, well, perhaps not, then. I'm outside. What time do you need to be there? Can't someone else do it? All right, I'm on my way. Is there something wrong with that? Um, no. So is my dad right, then? Do you fancy me? Eh? Hey. Well, he reckons that's why you keep coming in the shop all the time, to see me. I thought you just like kebabs. I do. You do what? Like me or kebabs? <laughs> well, both, I suppose. And coffee. Well, why didn't you just say that instead of wasting loads of money on drinks and then binning them? No, no, I've got a fare. Guy, urgent. Need to get to the station. So coffee, Ooh. Oh, right. Right, and the last thing you want is some mad woman wanting you to ask her out. I mean, like, no... What would you like? <laughs> well... Yeah? That's if me putting you on the spot hasn't totally put you off. No, no, of course not. <laughs> You're not just saying that? No, that's have a date. Um, Rover, say, Sunday, seven-ish. Mm, yeah, OK. All right, now, you, you either go and phone the station and get them to cancel or delay the London train, or I've got to get my fare. Oh, yeah, right. OK. Sunday? Yeah, Sunday. Right. Seven. She's not in. Maybe she's done a run or all left the country. Oh, Kirk, people don't go on the run for stealing a necklace. Anyway, she doesn't even know the solicitors are looking for her. So what do we do now, then? Well, let's go in. We'll wait till she comes home. We might be able to persuade her to give it back. Come on. There you go, Laura. Thank you. See you soon. Hi. David left. Oh, he's in the back. David! Visitor! Hi. Fancy coming out for your tea? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great, thanks. Well, you're not letting him get round you with one lousy bunch of flowers. Sarah, you might be happy with the way things are, but nobody else is, OK? I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. He comes home, I'm leaving. <laughs> well, there's a turn up. <laughs> you two back together, then? No. She just wants to help. We both do. Help who? You. Well, there's some washing up. His solicitors are after you. Eh? Dead Franks. They rang this morning. Have you got a number? No. Have you still got that necklace? Of course. If they weren't last ones to ring, your dog, mate. You could just give it back, ma'am. Say you were looking after it or somewhere. Why would I do that? Well, you know, if it just fell into your handbag, like things do. Frank gave it to me. And he said there'd be a lot more where that came from. <laughs> then clogs popped. Me square one. I didn't think he'd have time to change his will. <laughs> Sorry for doubting you, Frank, love. I thought he didn't like you. What's not to like? <laughs> yes, I'm Stella Battersby-Brown. I believe you've been looking for me. 
Tony was a gentleman, you know? I mean, it was difficult for me, but, well, we had a nice time, and, um... One thing led to another. And another. <laughs> Is that why you've seen him again? Well, it's the only way to stop him sending flowers, isn't it? So, are you seeing Maria tonight, or what? Probably, yeah. Uh, well, I've got to say, mate, you could have done a lot worse, though. I've done many times, believe me. Hmm? Ah, you know, it's, it's great. It's uncomplicated, no baggage. Oh, uh, not like that, Not like anyone. Mind you, she's seriously gorgeous. I'm funny. Really? Funny? Oh, no, not really, but she thinks I am, which is way more important, isn't it? Oh. Hi, bye. You got any puns for tonight? <sighs> Dunno. Yet. Do you think he's a keeper? I reckon he's the best thing that's happened to you in a long time. Or ever. Sounds serious. Doesn't it? <laughs> Probably the white wine spits from by. <clears throat> Hello. Are your ears burning? Why should they have been? I've just been singing your praises. And I was joining in on the chorus. Oh. Hey. Things seem to be moving on with Carla and Tony. Oh, that won't last. All those flowers. What a plonker. Drink, Maria. Oh, sorry, what was I thinking? <laughs> it's all right. Um, I'll have a spritzer, please, Michelle. Well, I didn't think we'd be doing this again. Well, having said that, we never have, have we? Me and you, on a own, out for a meal. Well, I could hardly invite Sarah, could I? Oh, well, I've tried to say sorry to her so many times, but she just won't listen. I'm only glad you did. Well, I believe you are. At last. Well, thanks. This time. But I didn't think it would come to where we are now to make you understand. I just shouldn't, shouldn't have put you in this position. You just don't seem to realise. What seems like a big joke to you, other people get hurt. Well, I've already said, Mum, I'm sorry. You've apologised before. I've believed you. And I've taken you back again, and what kind of a soft touch does that make yeah, you? Yeah, but it's not you, is it? It's me. And I've learnt my lesson. Look, I know finding out that I considered an abortion hurt you. But from the minute you were born, David, I was so glad I had you. And I've always loved you. And you know, despite it all, all the terrible things you've done, I still do. Is it classy? Why do you keep looking over there? I don't know what, sorry. Have they said something about me and you? What's there to say? And who's to say I'd listen if they did? Well, I just know how I am with our Kirk. <laughs> Dead protective. Oh, you are not comparing me to Kirk, please. You see, now I've got to protect him because you're being horrible about him. What? He's a lovely bloke. Got a lot of time for the man. <laughs> see, now they're watching us. Oh. And whispering. Well, I could always go back to mine for a bit more privacy. Mm -hmm. Jamie looks like he's here for the night. Do you know what? I thought you'd never ask. I don't tell them to, but I've got my toothbrush in my bag. <laughs> Get the drinks in. <laughs> you can buy me one, but don't bother coming for an handout on Monday when I've got me inheritance. Dear old Frank, I really miss him. Thought you didn't like him much. You know what it's like, Kirk, having had the kennels. Animals, old people, they're not going to be around for long, so you shouldn't get too attached. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> All set? Where are we going? Well, I said we're going to meet some friends, if that's all right with you. You're not worried I'll embarrass you? Of course not. Anyway, they want to put a face to the name. You talked about me then? Well, I might have mentioned you once or twice. Mm. What are they expecting a Brad Pitt lookalike? Of course. One who's shy, modest, wouldn't say boo to a goose. Well, one of those things. Can't stand geese. Nasty things. Hey, don't get your cover in a shift for me on Sunday. Bye, I have it tattooed on the inside of my eyelids. Laters. Hi, boo. See ya. See you later. Yeah. Good at ground, and all to take me in, but... That pill has been a right pain. What would you expect? Like I say, you do terrible things to people and then you're surprised when they don't like you. Yeah, well, still, the sooner I'm out of there, the better. Where will you go? Well, I'll come on with you, boy. I mean, that is what this is all about, isn't it? You really think it's that easy? 
A few apologies and a bunch of flowers does not come close to making everything all right again. So what's all this about? Precisely what we're doing. Talking. Trying to understand each other. And I have to make you try and understand just why you can't come home. And you say I play games with people. You're just messing with my head. Trying to have a grown-up conversation with you, that's all. You just told me that you love me. How can you when you can do something like this? I do love you. I don't pretend to understand you. You don't understand how much you're hurting me, do you know that? And how many times could I have said that to you? No more. I've had all I can take. We all have. So what am I supposed to do? Grow up. Learn actions, have consequences. I've done that. I mean, all those people, Mum, that I've hurt, I've realised it, and I promise I won't do it again. Promises from you aren't enough, David. I'm sorry. I didn't want it to come to this. But it needn't. I mean, I'll prove to you that I've changed. No, David. This is as hard for me as it is for you. No, it isn't. It's nowhere near.